Now we can get to it. The prime time game for Thursday night for Thanksgiving. It's the Patriots traveling to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. Uh, the Patriots enter this game uh, with, uh, coming off of the, the shocking victory. I don't want to say, I don't know if I want to say shocking, but the kick return to win the game over the New York Jets, they're coming off of a win. The Vikings coming off of an ass whooping to the, from the Dallas Cowboys. Um, two opposite ends here for, for both these teams. You see, do you see the Vikings coming into this game with a, with a vengeance? Do you see, do you see them coming in with fire in their eyes after, after what happened last week? Um, fire in their eyes. No, no, I don't think it's that kind of moment um, where they have to. Um, yeah, it was a tough loss. Yeah. They got their ass kicked, but they're eight and two. They won the division already. That division's over. Um, now, does it mean they're going to be like with a little bit more urgency? Yeah, maybe. But I don't think this is some like, oh, we got to make a statement in this game now because we what we did last game. I think they just need to find a way to win this game. Um, they stay at home. That's nice. Uh, it's against a tough defense. And Belichick, you know, is always going to have some wrinkle. But I do think they're more talented than the Patriots. Uh, so, no, I don't think there's an extra level of, I'm going to say pressure, but an extra level of, like we have to get this done. Um, I, I don't believe that's the case. I think every team wants to win, but I don't think there needs to be that extra sense of, oh no, this is a must win or we have to make a statement in this game. I just think there needs to be a little bit more urgency. They need to have a game plan going into it, understanding what the, the New England Patriots like to do defensively um, and offensively and, and make sure they play sound football. But I don't see this game as being something more than it more than it is. What 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 do you think the keys are to the to this Vikings offense having success against a Patriots defense that over the last two weeks has been great? I should say the last two games has been great. Uh, week nine against Indianapolis only allowed three points. Week eleven against the Jets only allowed three points. Uh, only allowed two hundred and twenty four total yards in both those games combined. Um, just an absolutely incredible performances from the past through two weeks of the for the New England Patriots defense. Uh, they've got two corners that I know we, we, we joke around about PFF all the time, uh, but both uh, Jack Jones and Jonathan Jones rank among the top 10 cornerbacks in PFF grades this season. Um, so this defense is playing well. Matthew Judon, sa- uh, sack machine. How do the, wh- what do the Vikings need to do to counter that great defense of the New England Patriots? Well, I, I want to make it very clear. The Patriots have a good defense. I wouldn't call them great. Let, let's be honest. They take advantage of teams like the Jets offensively, the Colts, um, guys, offenses that have not played well. We, But we haven't really seen them play an offense. Right? You go back to the last offense they really played, I want to say it was Baltimore, and that was all the way at the beginning of the season, and they gave up 37. Um, if you include Chicago, they gave up 33 to Chicago on a Monday night football game. So I don't know that this defense is that great. I think they're good. I think they're sound. Um, they have not seen an offense like Minnesota's. I'll tell you that since week one, when they played Miami, uh, that has that type of weaponry on the outside and Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, Dalvin cook. Um, so I think they have their hands full in this game. I don't think this is a game where the Patriots come in and just say, Oh yeah, we're the better. We're a great defense. We can lock down Minnesota's offense. They don't have Dallas the Dallas defense. And I think it's very, it's very clear when you watch them play, they rely on Matthew Judon to get to the quarterback. And if you can somehow protect or block him up, make some plays in the passing game, they don't defend the run very well when you, and I know I'm frozen again, um, but they don't defend the run that well when you actually try to run it on them. Uh, so I, I have my concerns about the New England Patriots defense against big time opponents. Now, we know Belichick's going to do his job. He's going to have them prepared. And that's the thing that Minnesota has to understand is what adjustments are you going to make at halftime? What adjustments are you going to make after the first quarter when you see what they're doing? That's going to be Kevin O'Connell's biggest question mark, not only in this game, not only last week against Dallas, but going forward in the playoffs. The teams that make adjustments are the teams that are going to win. And we've seen it now time and time again, teams that come out in the second half and play better because they now made their adjustments. Um, We've seen Pete Carroll, who doesn't have the most, the best team. We saw what he did in that game a few weeks ago against Tampa and was almost able to come back because of the adjustments at halftime. Zach Taylor did it all of last year. 
We watch the, the defense give up stuff in the first half, and we're like, oh, the Bengals, same old Bengals. And in the second half, they would lock up. And so what kind of adjustments is Kevin O'Connell going to make in this game? And is he going to be able to outcoach Bill Belichick in this particular game? I think that's going to be the decision or the deciding factor on whether my Minnesota is able to win or not. Yeah, I think I think that Dalvin Cook has to be a big part of this game. I think that's the the game plan that they need to have going into. I think that they need to give Dalvin Cook the ball um, a lot. I I know that you talk about how the Patriots defense has been beating up on the on the lesser teams like the Jets and, and even the Colts those past two weeks or past two games. Um, but I think that Dalvin Cook, if they want to have success in this game, if they want to come out with the win, they're going to have to feed Dalvin Cook the ball. Um, it is a revenge game, Aaron. And I'm not going to – I don't know if I should do the whole big-time revenge game part. Um, but in 2008, the New England Patriots drafted Vikings head coach Kevin O'Connell in the third round. He threw six passes for the Patriots all in 2008, and that was it. So it was a big-time revenge game for Kevin O'Connell. And for that reason, give me the Patriots here. Uh, uh 24 to 20. Oh, he's frozen. He's super frozen. He's okay. He's back. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, um, I can hear you. Did you hear I did I not heard? hear. I heard, I heard who you picked. I didn't hear the score. Yeah. Um, what was your score? Patriots 24, 20. Yeah, um, I'm going clean sweep here. I'm going a clean sweep. I am going all home teams. Um, I don't think there's an upset on Thanksgiving this year. I think the Minnesota Vikings are a better football team than, than the New England Patriots. And I continue to look at this Patriots schedule, and I'm looking at the games they've won. And they haven't beat one good team except for the Jets. They beat twice, and we know how that goes. The Patriots always beat the Jets. But their other wins are just – it's it's Pittsburgh – Detroit, Cleveland, Indianapolis. They're, they beat up on bad teams, and when they play good teams, they're not good enough because they don't have the explosiveness. Give me Minnesota in this one. And I told you, I think New England struggles down the stretch. I think they probably lose three of their next four, four of their next five, five of their next six, maybe six of their next seven, um, just because of the, the, the schedule that they have down the stretch. Uh, give me Minnesota in this one, and I don't think it's a real close game. But it's Belichick, so I'll give him some credit. I'll take Minnesota 27 to 16. All right, we're split down the middle here. I have the upset. You have the Vikings here. 